Here's how you can build a search engine for your application in under five minutes. Let's begin by installing TypeSense on our local machine. So I'm going to type export TypeSense XYZ. That is going to be my API key. And then I'm going to create an instance of TypeSense. You can view that it is now fully running right over here. Port 8108. Now let's head over to our Next.js project and I'm assuming you have already installed Next.js. Head over to your terminal. I'm going to type npm install TypeSense. And now we have the library installed. We can now go ahead and download a sample data set that we can use throughout this tutorial. The data set is going to include a few books. So in order to do that, I'm going to cd or to the temp folder and I'm going to download the books.json file. And then I'm going to unzip. And now we can go ahead and use our data set. Now, the next step is to initialize the client in our code base. To do so, head over to the source folder and create a new file called typesense.ts. And inside, we want to import client from typesense. Now, let's instantiate the client. We can type const client new client and we pass in an object containing a few attributes. One of the most important ones is nodes, which is an array of objects that contains all the types and servers you can connect to that we are going to connect to localhost. We're gonna have port 8108, and we're going to have protocol, which is going to be HTTP API key, which in our case was XYZ. And we can also have another optional parameter, which is connection timeout seconds, now, TypeSense data structure is very similar to NoSQL because it has a collection, which is a group of documents. And that means we have to create a new collection called books. I'm going to type const book schema, and it's going to be an object that contains name, which is going to be books. It contains fields, which is going to be an array of objects that represent the fields within a specific document, as well as default sorting field, which is going to be ratings underscore count. Now that we have our book schema, what we need to do is call the client and create the schema. Client dot collections create, and we're gonna pass the book schema. Now you might see that this is highlighted with red, which means there's some inconsistency with the types. So what we can do is we can check create. We know that is going to be the type that we can assign here. And now it's going to resolve the error. And the next step is to import the JSON collection of books that we downloaded earlier. In order to do this, we are going to import promises as FS from FS and then import the values and the contents of that particular file, the books.json.l, into TypeSense using the TypeSense client. And the way to do this is by typing const books in JSON.l and we're going to do a wait fs.l. And we're going to use the TypeSense client by typing await client dot collections books documents dot import to import the JSON file into the collection. So books in JSON L. Now you may notice that there's another red underline here. In order to resolve this, we have to convert the buffer JSON string for it to be able to be processed by the import function. And in order to do this, I'm going to type json.stringify and that is going to convert it into a JSON string. Now let's add a bit of feedback to know that everything has gone well. What I'm going to do here is const create. I'm gonna check if create collection, then we can say collection created successfully. And also here we can do const and we can check if upload JSON console log and see what is happening. Now, if we head to the terminal, run typesense.ts, and if we press enter, we got collection created successfully, but it says about JSON. So I guess in this case, what we can do is probably just have JSON to string and rerun again. And now we get success true. So everything has been imported. Now let's go ahead and build a search UI component. So let's go ahead and install those NPM libraries. NPM install React dash instant search dash adapter. Now let's go to the source folder and let's create a component called typesense search.ts. First of all, we're going to import typesense instant search adapter and we're going to define a constant that contains some configuration. typesense config 
and it's going to be an instance of TypeSense instance search adapter. First one is going to be the server, the API key, the nodes, the host, localhost, the port 8108, and the protocol HTTP. Additional search parameters is going to be query by title and authors. Now, another thing that we need to do is establish a search client which is going to be typesense config dot search client. We should export the search client from here to be able to use it in the UI later. Now let's head over to page.tsx. We might as well delete everything. And what we can do is use the React instant search, instant search, and then we can pass in the search client we have exported and we can pass an index name books, a search box. We can also render the results by using hits component. So let's create a functional component, an object called hit, and I'm going to return very simple article is going to contain the title and the authors. We can do that by typing h1 and reference hit dot title paragraph that is going to contain the authors separated by coma. We can then use hits from the React instant search and we can pass in the hit component and it's going magically work. One more thing we should note is that I've just added a use client annotation for Next.js in order for this thing to work. Now, assuming you have already started your Next.js instance, let's head over to the page and we can see all the publications here. We can use the search engine, let's say Harry Potter, and you can see all the listings are being sorted in real time. And there you go. You've just built a fully featured search engine in under five minutes using TypeSense with its easy integration, open source and lightning fast type tolerant algorithm. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with more educational content on TypeSense. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.